Bye, sweetie. Bye, Mom. I gotta go check on something. Okay. You've raised quite a boy. Well, the last time you said that, you wanted to string him up. No, it was all in the past. Today is the beginning of a brand new future. Is this where you offer me a cigar? <laughs> you can have a dozen if you want. Okay, I give up. What's going on? Can a man be happy? My son is getting married. My grandchild is being christened. Life doesn't get much better than this. Hmm, your son is marrying a woman who was married to somebody else when she married him the first time. Did I get that right? Word travels fast. But uh, why should we judge? Babe is young, impressionable, in love. She made a mistake. Mm. I can't hold that against her. You held more against less. She, um, she loves my son, and she's given us a remarkable child. Oh, I see. The, uh, the procreation factor is working for her. Oh. Shame on you for being so cynical. <laughs> okay, okay. You have forgiven her. The secret marriage, the situation with Jamie, the paternity drama, all forgotten. Absolutely. All right, Adam. What the hell's going on? Brooke, don't get suspicious on me. Not today of all days. Today's as good as any day. <laughs> Brooke, share the joy. Oh, you are so full of it. I know that look. I'm happy. You're plotting. Your eyes are twinkling. And you're so nice so that your victim has absolutely no idea until you go for the juggler. So tell me, Adam. Who's your target this time? What a gorgeous dress. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what, what's the problem? You look magnificent. <laughs> B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. <laughs> thank you. I'm sorry. Suddenly I feel underdressed. Ah, we can remedy that. You know what to do. So. Oh, on it. No. Oh. You're one of us now. Thank you. Bear with I'm pride. gonna cherish it always, but I think I'm gonna wait until after the ceremony. Oh, uh, see, there you go. There's always one in every party. Well, you know, that, that's yeah. probably a good idea. I mean, we just good choice. test Hold driving. It, you? Uh, welcome, welcome. Oh, oh Bianca. It's not fair to upstage the bride. Oh, well, babe looks absolutely <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> no more radiant than Bess's godmother. Don't you agree, Jr.? Oh, absolutely. Hey, and Ted Martin. Glad you could make it. Here, this is for you. You're not going to tell me where to put it? <laughs> no, no, none of this glorious day. I'm in much too good a mood to let anything bring me down, even you, Martin. But, oh, there is one problem. Here it comes. Mm -hmm. No, no champagne. Waiter, more bubbly. Pronto. Thank you. What, what's with that, Adam? He seems to be smoking more than cigars. Jamie. Yeah, like you're not thinking the same thing. It's not often that our extended family gets together. Uh, well, there's probably a reason for that. <laughs> you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to propose a toast to my son, who will guide this family to a new and remarkable beginning. Here, here. Cheers. Yeah. There, there. Handsome boy. Perhaps you'll dance with me. You're not gonna wear that pig nose, are you? Only if you insist. <laughs> Stop it. Mm -hmm. So, how long have you been sleeping with Crystal? Oh boy, you need to brush up on your small talk, Liza. Most people start with you know, the weather, move on to common acquaintances. You want something more common than Crystal when you're involved with her. So you want dirt? Just curious. Mm. <laughs> or hopeful? Hmm? Come on, Liza. You're figuring that if I'm sleeping with Crystal, that clears the field so that you can snag a hand. I thought so. You haven't slept with Crystal, but you want to. You want me to. There is a difference. I can make that happen for you. <laughs> You'd make a scary matchmaker. Nice event. Though you had so much practice. <laughs> you didn't complain. 
All right, maybe I owe you an apology. Yeah, I'm sure you do. But about what in particular? I was sure that you were going to pull something on Babe and JR, and then Kendall was the one that sort of ruined this final happy ending, so I was wrong. But you are certainly too damn happy for all of this. JR is married to the woman he loves, and I'm sure he'll do right by her. What happens now between JR and Babe is up to JR. Oh, spoken so not like Adam Chandler. Really? Probably making out with your boyfriend, Tad, in the wine cellar. Yeah, well, 